Hey, welcome back to the Mr. Excel Netcast. I'm Bill Jellen. Today we have a question that's sent in by Anne. If you have a question for the podcast, please feel free to either leave me a voicemail or drop me an email and we'll get to you on a future podcast. Now, Anne's question, she says, every time I create a brand new workbook, I always go through and do the same three or four things. Like, for example, my headers and footers. I always want to use the footer, file page setup, custom footer. I like to have uh, maybe the tab name on the left-hand side, the page number, in the middle and then on the right hand side the date she says you know I'm constantly going through and making all these changes but every single document that I ever create I use the exact same header and footer is there some way to make that header and footer be the default well there is but it's a little bit convoluted what we want to do is first go into tools options and on the general tab the general tab look at the second to the last box it's called at startup open all files in now this is probably blank on your computer what we want to do is create a brand new folder that is completely blank and put that folder name in here. You could call it Fred or Joe or Bob or Ann. I called mine Excel Startup, whatever you want to call it. We'll click OK and then you create a blank workbook, one worksheet, and go through and make all of your favorite changes. For example, one thing I always do, file page setup, is I say I want to fit to one page wide by I don't care how many pages tall. So I always delete that so that way it fits to one page wide. I hate that one last little column that prints on a new set of pages. Click OK. We already have the uh, footer changes in there for Anne, and we're going to go to File, Save As. Now, instead of saving this as a workbook, we're going to change the Save As type to a template. As soon as we choose Template, the folder changes. It navigates down into Application Data, Microsoft Office, Shared, and so on. So we need to navigate back to Excel Startup, or whatever you called your folder. Now, once we're in that folder, we want to save this workbook with two names. The first name is Book book XLT and then we also want to save it with sheet XLT file save as sheet XLT and then what happens is forevermore on this computer whenever you go and click the new icon you will inherit all of the settings from book XLT so if we go into file page setup you'll see that the header and footer is the custom header and footer that Ann wants now the reason we have to save sheet XLT is sometimes you'll have an existing workbook and you'll use insert worksheet well, that'll inherit all of the settings from Sheet XLT. So you want to make two identical copies, Book XLT, Sheet XLT. And of course, where we save that, Tools, Options, look in the General tab and create a brand new folder here, Add Startup, Open All Files In. Now, I have to warn you, in earlier versions of Excel, I think 2097, this used to be called Alternate Startup Location. Exact same thing, they just had different words over there. So again, create a folder name and you're good to go. Hey, thanks for stopping by. We'll see you next time for another netcast from Mr. Excel.